Welcome to the Chop Team. I'm your host, Seth the Dark Child. I'm your host, Twin Zinc. Our show is about two guys and any friends that happen to come over with a topic that we want to chop up. This is our barbershop style podcast. We discuss it all. If the fellas at the shop will go in on it, we will. Let's chop it up. Hey, welcome back again for the new show in the 2020. Yo, today we have a gear grinder right here. Yeah. Um, you know, I want specifically we were we were talking it up and I said we should put this down on tape right now. It's about this Iran Iranian situation in America with um America has found itself in. Um because the guy who's president decided to assassinate the um a general from um Iran. Mm. And um you know, we were sitting here talking about, hey, how should you feel as a black person as far as patriotism goes for America? And it started out, <laughs> and that's why I wanted to record this, because it started out pretty, pretty, you know, same old, same old. But, uh, you know, as we got to talking amongst each other, it got pretty dark real fast. We We as black people, <laughs> we as black people we ain't as happy with this country as we should be or could be, you know? And, um, it's just a whole lot. This is, this ain't got nothing to do with logic today, folks. This is how we feel. 100. You want, you want to jump in before I jump all the way in the deep end of the pool? (laughs) So like I said, we was chopping it up before we even start recording. And, I was telling him, um, last 10 years, like anyone knows me, um, last 10 years, everything starts changing for me, right? Um, Because that's, I say, more 10 years, I've been more noticing what's happening inside the United States. Not the world, what's happening in the United States. Um, First off, my wife, she's Jamaican. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, she's first generation Jamaican. And I'm American, African American, born in the United States. That's it. So. You mean descendant of slaves. Just want to be clear. That's true. That too. Somewhere down the line. Yeah, and I am. And the reason why I say this is because um, when a World Cup comes on, you know, soccer for them, football for us, or football for them, you whatever. I was always Team USA, Team USA, and then see what Jamaica. So we'll, we'll always go back and forth all day. And, I, and, and you know, that's what I knew. I'm born and raised in the United States. Yes, Team USA. Yeah, all the way. Let's go. Team America for everything. Now I'm like, F that. No. No. I I don't feel that, that empowerment. I don't feel that I don't feel that empowerment. I don't feel that privilege to be here in America to be screaming USA. No. Yeah, I don't No. I'm not and, included. And it, it goes included. from the last ten years of Trayvon Martins, Mike Brown, you know, mm-hmm. all the names go on. Of yeah. black Alton, men. Eric Gardner, Alton Sterling. Philando Castile, Tamir Rice. I mean, we could just right keep going. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. And that's, you're dropping facts, dropping gems. The point I'm trying to make is that how how should I feel proud to be part of a country that doesn't care about us? Simple as that. So now we're both, now we're going to war now, or we might be going to war now, and we're going to be okay, guys. Let's come together. Let's fight for this country. No, this country doesn't care about me at all. You know, I give kudos for brothers and sisters and uncles and cousins, anyone that I know who's in the military, mm-hmm. my prayers go to them because I couldn't do it. I, I, I couldn't fight. At the end of the day, for me, at a young age, I wanted to go to the Army. And mm-hmm. the reason why I was going to the Army, because I know you do 40 years or 30 years. 20. 20, 20 years, you retired. So at the age of 30, which I'm in, I'm in my 30s now, I've been retired. I'm still getting paid. X, Y, Z, living a good life. But at that time frame, 9-11 hit. <laughs> and I knew I wasn't going to fight a war that had nothing to do with me. I'm just calling exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever that war was, they was not attacking black people. And, know. yes, we live here. But in some cases, we're here by either accident or the blessing of God. Yeah, Because if we're talking about the whole slave trade and everything, over the... 
400 years of slavery, a lot of generations didn't make it to America. Mm-hmm. You had some that jumped off the boat. You got some that were killed once they made the land. So it's a blessing that I'm even here. You know, if we do a history of my blood, my gene, and find out where I came from, I might not be all the way 100% African-American. I might be because because they was raping, you know what I'm saying? They was raping on black women back then. Dude, I, I so get, I could, I could I, my great, 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 great dad could be a white guy. Yeah, there is. Honestly, as a black person in America, there is. I want to look that up. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe that I believe it's zero black people in America. That's pure 100 percent African from that were here. Yeah. Not the ones who travel I mean, here and move them to about the ones who actually. Just, yeah. I mean, you can tell from our complexions this there was a little yeah, uh, yeah. milk in our coffee. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah we're not we're not darkness. Exactly. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with being darkness. I'm just saying we're just not all the way dark. But the point I'm trying to make is that I don't feel that Team USA in my blood. And the fact that um, the world, that the wars that's happening, these are their wars. When I say their wars, white man's war. Because the black people, are, we're not fighting these fights that they have a problem with. I mean, I say this to give you an example. If there was a problem with black people, how come you don't hear wars? How come Iran, Afghanistan, all these other countries or whatever are attacking Africa? I mean, just, I mean I'm saying, just think about it. Mm-hmm. How many bombs were dropped on Africa? You know what I'm saying? Well, probably thousands. Well, and not, I'll touch base. I, I want to touch base on that. I let, get, let me, listen, no, no, no. no. And it could be as well, but that stuff's not in the public news. Now, of course, I got to do more research about it. But we think on things of just base common knowledge that happened over the years that you sow, you see, and you know, or the schools are teach you to learn. It's all about America, this, America, that. But in the day, America is just a bunch of terrorists. We are the terrorists. They, and, that's how they see us. I and, mean, I mean, and I the get Afghanistans, it. Afghanistan's, the Iraqis, they see us as the terrorists. I mean, that's facts, though. I mean, if you, if, if you look at the history of things that we've done. I mean, the guy we just killed, right? The guy we just killed. Mm-hmm. He was actually going to a peaceful event. He was doing something peaceful for his country or whatever case may be. And they said, oh, we call him red-handed. Okay, he got red-handed or what? If he did something wrong, why do we have to wait a whole two weeks to get the information together and tell us? If wait, he did wait. something like, okay, he was he was he he did this and this and this. Wait, 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 wait. Who who told us this? Uh, the media. The media. Where did they get this story from? Wherever they was told them from them. So you think it came out of the White House? Oh, of or course it did. Oh, uh, yes. You, you mean the same place with the guy who has lied to us 15,000 plus times in the last three years? That this is the guy that told us this happened? Yeah. That, that he was a bad guy? He, he, that he was a bad guy. Oh, 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 oh. The same guy has all the current uh, cases against him. but The guy with, like, he's been sued for, like, 4,000 times mm-hmm. in his life. He, that's the guy that told us that this guy was a bad guy? Yeah. That guy. The same guy that Rudy Giuliani works for. Wait, all most of his campaign um, supporters and whatever staffers or whatever are in prison right now. Mm, yeah, that, that guy told us that this other guy was a bad guy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you got. You keep going. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. So how do we? So question out there, people. How do we define a bad guy? What What makes a bad guy a bad guy? Now I'm confused now. I agree. Actually, I, mean, I, I mean, never think, even thought about it. Yeah, think that. about it. What makes a bad guy a bad guy at this point now? Because I used to know. I'm, I mean, I I was brought up knowing right from wrong. Right, right. I spent a lot of time around people who I thought were good people. Right. But now we have a president mm. that is supposed to be uh, every, I might not, al- okay, the presidents I remember in my life, Ronald Reagan. George Bush, one and two, Bill Clinton, um, Barack Obama. These are presidents in my life. Okay. Um, while I might not have agreed with the policies of any in either any of these people. Right, right. Um, I feel Ronald Reagan was a racist. He had he did a lot of racist shit that they tried to make sound good, but he was a racist. He might have hated me, but he was at least smart enough to hide it. George Bush senior, George Bush, Bill Clinton. But I never looked at these guys as evil, as bad mm. guys. Just because you weren't good to me doesn't make you a bad guy. Okay, okay, I'm with you now. I'm with you now. You know, you're so, making sense there. All right, go ahead, continue. Yeah, I mean, so I'm, so I just want to. Yeah. So what I thought was a good guy. I mean, I know people. I've known people in prison that were good guys in prison. I mean, 
Sometimes you make a mistake and you go to, you pay for it. I don't think Mike Vick is a bad guy. He, he did bad things. He killed the dog, but he paid the price and he's trying to atone for it. So I don't think he's a bad guy. Right. Right. R. Kelly is a bad guy, but he made great music. I love that dude. But you shouldn't have peed on those people. <laughs> but I said all that to say that since I've heard about and learned more about Mr. Trump than I ever did, this dude's a bad guy. This dude's a horrible person. I wouldn't leave this. I wouldn't invite him into my home. I would actually invite Mike Vick into my home. Facts. Barack Obama has a standing dinner invitation. Seriously, bro. I will feed the hell out of you and your family. Just come <laughs> visit. You know, but I wouldn't, I I don't even watch a channel Trump is on. I'll turn the TV. I don't need to hear it. I'm right. only, it's making me sick to say his name. I said all that to say that this is who certain pockets of this country elected president. So how am I supposed to feel about this country when this country chose to make this person our leader? See, it, it sounds now nobody now it gets quiet out there. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some good tea right here. But seriously, this dude has done things continuously since he's been in office. I don't Shoot, even before he got in office, his character. I mean, just let's be good. We know. I, I, I okay, know. I'm sorry. I know. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, go ahead. I, because you know, once again, them gears, them gears grinding. And I don't know if I'm saying anything deep. I'm just saying that. Um, as a black person, my problem with patriotism and as my patriotism in America didn't start with his election. That's no, me. yeah. Just like my boy said, if I'd had a choice when I first came out of high school, I still think the biggest mistake in my life was not going to the Navy. I should have went to the Navy, and if I knew then what I know now, I'd have did my twenty years. I'd have did my twenty years, and I would have served. I would have served to the best of my ability. I would have fought and died for this country. But that was 18, 19 years old. Truth of the matter is, you're right. I've looked at the policies of Bill Clinton. I've looked at the policies of George Bush. I've looked at the policies of um, even Barack Obama. I love that dude, but honestly, as a black president, he was a great president. As a black president, he was... Mm, mediocre at best. You did great for America. You didn't really hook the brothers up. But this guy, this guy is actively evil to everybody. He is the worst thing about the worst thing about America. But it's he didn't put himself in office. So you want me to have my kids? Mm. You want me to have my neighbors? Mm. You want me to have people who I know and care about my friends, families, coworkers and their families. You want me to support this guy who I wouldn't even invite to my house, sending those people who I might care about off to fight a war that he started just because his ass was impeached and he was just trying to change the subject. Narrative too. I mean, and just one other thing I want to get off my chest before I turn it back over because I need to breathe. (laughs) <laughs> but just so everybody knows when he did that strike, five people died, not just the target, five other people died. Innocent. Well, innocent or not. I don't even care if they weren't supposed to die. You sanctioned an assassination on one person. You killed five people. That's mass murder. This is your president. And this wasn't sanctioned by country, uh, Congress. This wasn't thought out. He made a tweet from a damn golf course to OK. It, and then he continued to play golf. This is who you voted for as president. Now, I understand that leaders have to make hard decisions, but this was evil. In my opinion, <laughs> and, you know, I'm just I just want to say that this. But you want me to be patriotic. You want I can't I can't condone this garbage. It's already bad enough to be black, but now in 2020, at the beginning of 220, this is what me as a black man looking at. The beginning. Good good lord. It's right. It's not even five days. It's only five days in the year already. <laughs> and we already got some mess going on already. Again, 
you know, 2020 supposed to be, you know, beginning of the year supposed to be the new fresh, supposed to be a fresh start of the year. You know, okay, this year I'm going to do something better, new, open a new page of the book, and then page one, war. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? War. Wow. Wait, did, even... Didn't didn't this jerk cause the government to be shut down last year at this exact same time? Wasn't the government closed? And people not getting paid? One year ago, today, the government was closed. Why? Well, I'm sorry, keep going. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't, like I, like I was saying before, I don't feel the love here as far as being USA in the country. And honestly, I feel kind of afraid because I don't know what's going to happen next. You know, I have kids, so you know when they when when they come when they when they try to get revenge, right? They didn't say today or tomorrow, but they gonna get revenge. Of course, these people. Dude. I get that. I'm saying, you know, it's different with just me. But now I have kids. I'm like, so how they gonna get revenge? Because at the end of the day, they are not gonna get the people who they want. They want to get nope. Trump, but they're not gonna get to him. They're not. Nope. He, he's gonna be protected. No chance. No chance. I mean, if you think about it, all the presidents, presidents that have always been protected for the rest of their life, you ain't never heard of a president getting beat up or shot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This, this regular, you, never. So one point I'm trying to make is that they cause problems and people's kids got to pay the consequences of these grown men making these childish decisions. Period. You know what? I just want to say this. Um, I I wish I could find the article, but um, at one point, everyone actually knows that killing government officials from other countries is taboo. I'm not. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's a treaty or something like that, but killing the emperor of, of Austria and started World War Two, right? Since then, it's actually against the rules of war to kill heads of state in war. You don't hear generals being assassinated by other countries regardless because that stupid blank starts wars. You can kill a soldier. We feel bad. Kill a civilian. Oh, my God. You kill. You don't hear presidents and princesses and and, and prime ministers being killed for a damn reason. But, hey, your president, who some of y'all voted for, I'm, I'm pretty sure ain't no one listening to this podcast voted for him, but still, it's always that behind doors Trumper that might ha- might be listening. Um, dude, I don't know where this goes, and if if they told me to turn off the lights one hour a day to save money so America could have uh, turn, I'm I'm burning every light in the house. <laughs> if they said you can't take a bath at a certain time of the day because it helps the war effort in America, I'm going to get off work. I'm going to drive home to take a bath at that time of the day, specifically to burn water. I'm not supporting this stupid shit in no form or fashion. If I wouldn't, I wouldn't let my kid join the military. it will be, I'm not, I can't see throwing another black life away in this country. We should, we can't, we're not even safe. See, I want to be mad at racism in America, and it's got its own problems. But this dude is sucking all the air out of all my other hate. <laughs> 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 I can't, I, dude. He's he pulling too much, bro. He he hits so many high notes that you can't hear nothing else underneath it. And I'm tired of this junk. And when he's out of the office, which hell. Is it gonna happen? Who knows? I mean, let's be real. It's not gonna happen now because I'll say before. You know, he about to be impeached, right? It, he is impeached. Okay, he is impeached, but he's still in office. But there's still another process has to happen, which is not gonna. Which was happen. supposed to come up this week, right? That's so, right. the perfect distraction to avoid this now is what? Go and kill somebody and start a war. You mass murdered. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Keep going. So, with that being said, let's be, let's be honest, people. What's what's more important now? Impeachment or war? So yeah, so more likely, Trump's still gonna be in office X Y Z, and because at this point now, do you want someone new coming in to clean his mess? Nah, you start this war, you need to fix this war. You know what I'm saying? This is your war, you started, you need to clean it up. Simple as that. So mm. I don't, you know, if it was a distraction, and I think it was selfish, and and 
it's it's still scary because you don't know what the outcome's going to be. You, you have no idea. And we don't know what's going to I mean, happen. You know, for all for all these people out here, Trump supporters and all this, you do realize that Iran has allies too, right? He, oh he, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. who the, who the allies because well, I didn't know. So they, they just did joint military train um games with um China and Russia. China, the number one, the biggest in the world. China, yeah, yeah. Most po- oh, well, second most. Well, third most. It depends, but I mean, Russia and China. I mean, Ooh. I mean, like that's like that's like slapping a that's like slapping a little skinny dude. They got two big brothers. I'm just saying. Um, yeah. And, so, so the allies <laughs> is just as tough as them. So, uh, oh, at the same time, just so if anyone reads the news, checks CNN or HLN or anything, you will realize that China. I mean, not China, but. England pretty much said, yo, dude, this ain't our business. Germany was like, yo, dude, my phone ain't paid my phone bill, so you can't holler at me for a minute. Canada pretty much said they ain't got they got to go see their grandma. So we standing by ourselves. All these allies America likes to talk shit about that we have. Guess who spent the last three and a half years messing up those relationships? Mm. Just saying. I'm I'm sorry. Keep going. Yeah. So once again. <laughs> It's scary right now because now we got no help, pretty much. Yeah, bro. They, they, I they, mean, everybody. They looks, said everyone, fight your own fight battle. Everyone looks at the United States as a bunch of fools because one, we we have Trump as our president, right? So, is. so we're the biggest left of stock in the whole world. Mm-hmm. Not just country, the world. I mean, all over. People look at us as a joke for the first time ever. They used to hate us for one reason, but now they they pity us. How stupid can y'all be? Dude, I, I'd much rather them hate us than pity us. And you know what? It makes sense now why that they recruit, you know, young men between the ages of 18 and 26. It's sad, though, because, you know, most people going to war, they don't they won't have that experience of enjoying life. You mind? Think about it. You go from kindergarten to senior year, and after your senior year, you go going and join the Army. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. right now, if you do, you go to army. You go. You, you you might be going to war. Mm-hmm. But it, when you think about it, we have grown men out there. Listen, people, we have grown men out there causing drama, causing fights. And then when it's time to buck up, they send kids in to fight their battles. Let that marinate for a second. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. Listen. <laughs> they. They. And. 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 You know, I was young, and I get it, 18, 26, you get them young. When I was young, I was what? USA. I was brainwashed. Now they go and fight a war and dying, and no one cares. I think, I think uh, a black dude, I don't know what happened, but a black dude died, and Trump, you know, when they, I can't, uh, I'll come dude. back to that. But, but the point I'm trying to make is this. He do so much. I know, right? So, I mean, the point I'm trying to make is this. People, people listen out there. If you have young kids, um, they're still in school. Make sure they don't go to the army. Don't fight for a country that doesn't fight for you. Simple as that. And if if they if if they say, oh, they do fight for us, show me, because I could turn on the news right now and I can I, I could almost find a black person being killed unarmed for no reason for being pulled over. Simple as that. I mean, do you know? So, you want me to fight for this country, but. The local police are killing us every day for no reason. We got people. We got cops breaking in people's houses, mm-hmm. killing them mm-hmm. when they're in their own house. Yep, you got cops. You got cops killing people when they go do a wellness check. That girl in Texas, she looked out the door and he popped a cap in her. He was there to make sure she was okay. Right, you can't be in your own house and you can get shot. So once again, people, why am I? Excited to be American at this point now? I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, it's war every day just to go to work and make it back home. That's war for us. You want me to jump on a plane, go somewhere across the world and fight people who did nothing to us? Did, didn't our president, now I'll admit, Kaepernick took a knee. Yeah, he did. I want to 
He took a knee after a veteran told him that that was the most respectful way for him to protest. So sure did. I'm not trying to say that he was right. I'm saying a veteran told him it would be respectful for you to take a knee during the anthem instead of sitting down or ignoring it. And Kaepernick said, okay, that was him trying to be patriotic and stand up for what he believed in. Didn't our president call him a son's a bitch? He did. Oh. And, and call him that and any other player in the NFL who would do the same thing. Took a knee. Called, this is the same person that in a couple of days, and let's be real, I can all, when this, when they, when they do it, it's going to be a moment. He's going to be in a news conference and they're going to be like, all right, we need to, I can't imitate his dumb ass. He's going <laughs> to, but they're, he's going to be in a news conference talking about the need to be patriotic and come together as Americans. And if you believe him, once again, God, you're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you're the problem. If you believe that you're the problem. 15,000 lies in. But y'all think that he had a good reason to kill this dude in Iran. 15,000 lies in. Y'all want to, some people, I ain't going to say y'all. I know our audience ain't listening to that. But uh, damn it, man. Black in America, and it, it get harder every year. And mind you, we're not trying to change the narrative to make it seem like it's, oh, us, oh, with us. No, it's not. It's the fact is that. There's more stress now being put on out there now. <laughs> like, you want me to be excited now or ready to go to war because of what? Like, no one still has given me a reason why, why did he kill that guy. Oh, well, 40 years ago. So 40 years ago, we want to start shooting, killing people because something happened 40 years ago? The one, that makes that makes us look like, look like a coward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, yeah. I understand there's, there's other reasons why, but... Okay, he got caught red-handed. Okay, what did he get caught red-handed do? Because he was in the car driving somewhere and going, coming from a peaceful place. Like, he was doing something for the country he's from. So it wasn't like he was going to. Well, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. Let's be 100% honest. Let's go. You will, No, I mean, on this, you will never actually know the details. He could have been He could have been sent down at dinner with his wife and kids for all we know. We just know what they, we just know that this guy who what they told us, us 15,000 times. We just know the side, his side of the story. Just saying. The side of the story is that we caught him and he ain't hearing no more. And you're joking about it. Mm hmm. And when, I don't think, you know what? I think when we caught uh, Osama bin Laden, when they killed him, I don't think Obama was like, yeah, we got him. He's dead. He didn't make a joke out of it. Mm hmm. But hey, once again, it was because you don't murder somebody with a smile on your face. I don't care how you want to put it. But oh, some Barack isn't bragging about killing Osama bin Laden. He did it because it needed to be done. But he tried. How many? How many casualties were there from the Osama bin Laden raid? How many other people died? It was a. It was a compound. It was hundreds of people a, a, around armed guard. They took all. How many other people died? This dude just dropped a missile on this dude and killed five, four other people. But I'm sorry. Keep keep going. I, I'm not letting that go because this is the definition of mass murder. This is a freaking war crime. But hey, good luck hearing that on channel on Fox Five. And now we're stuck in the middle of it as pawns at this point now. Oh, and I got one more gripe. It's off the subject, but it's part of it. For all of y'all, think you as black people should be supportive and patriotic because it's the right thing to do. Didn't he just sign a bill to knock 3 million people off of welfare or food stamps? And didn't, if you haven't paid any attention to that, pay, if you want to be patriotic, you should understand that he tried to make sure that the, the majority of people affected lived in urban areas. Wait, who lives mostly in urban areas? A lot of people. Just a thought before you start following this person down that road. And, and once again, I know our audience isn't black people, but it's if it's any Trump supporters out there listening, just listen, just listen. You might hear something that wakes your monkey ass up. <laughs> I ain't had nothing else, man. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, I, at this point, it's, it just keeps saying the same thing over and over. Once again, okay, this is Seth the Dark Child. I just want to remind y'all, he killed five people. 
four of them were innocent. That makes him a mass murderer. That's a war crime. Go USA. And we out. Peace.